Hey guys, welcome to another Bucket Plugin tutorial and today it's on real-time translation. So this is probably the coolest plugin I've ever seen uh, as it allows uh, the chat to be translated um, from one language to another. So if you're on a server which has lots of different nationalities, for example English, Dutch, French, German, uh, the chances are that they don't all speak the same language. Um, so with this plugin, you can uh, change the chat to whatever language you speak, so you can understand everyone. And they can do it for their language, so they can understand you. It's such a cool plugin. So if you do uh, RCT, and then um, set lang, followed by the language, so obviously EN is English, and that would be the one I would choose. If someone were to type in bonjour, if they're French, um, you can hover over it and se uh, see the original message, so uh, I don't know how accurate it is, um, but it does use Google Translate, you know, you know how accurate that can be. Um, so I could also set it to German, or uh, so that's DE. Uh, what German do I know? Uh, not, not much, but I know Alfida saying is goodbye, so uh, goodbye, um, Alfida saying. Uh, I probably pronounced that awfully, sorry, anyone who's German. Um, what other German do I know? Uh, Dishonokongli means the sun comes out or something. Uh, the sun comes out. Dishonokongli, uh, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's very, very cool. So I'll set it to French. And we will um, type something. So I would like a cheese baguette. There we go. So I've used that many times when I've been to France and je voudrais un baguette de fromage. Uh, I, I think that's correct, yeah. I used to take French for a few years but then went to Spanish. So Spanish is most likely uh, ES, would it be ES? Uh, Espanol, Castilian, yeah I'm pretty sure that's Spanish. So uh, uh, what Spanish do I know? Vivo en una casa en... Un pueblo, yes, I think that's it. Uh, I live in a small village. Yo vivo un pequeño pueblo. Yeah, that's more or less correct. This plugin is so cool. I could just mess around with this for hours, just seeing what it can translate. Dutch would obviously be um, NL. So if I set it to that, RCT uh, set lang NL for Netherlands, um, and then I could type. Uh, who is an admin here? And we is in admin here. Uh, uh, that, I made a terrible mess of that, but uh, that might might in um, in Dutch make sense. So you can obviously hover over and see the language and the original, which is really really cool. I don't know if every language is supported in there. Um, but obviously the main ones are there. So J Japanese, JP. No, that's not. Uh, what else could China, CN maybe? No. Um, hmm. Russian, are you? Ah, uh, Russian. Uh, where is the vodka at? <laughs> and uh, obviously Russian writing is completely different to English writing. So. Yeah, that probably means uh, what I just wrote, and yeah, that's that's the plugin. So I definitely recommend it if you want to have a multinational server with lots of different countries on. Uh, it would have been really useful um, for a server I used to plan a few years ago, which was uh, had mainly Dutch people, and I obviously couldn't talk to some of them because uh, I don't speak Dutch and they didn't speak English, so that was an issue. But uh, luckily a lot of Dutch people do speak English, which is uh, nice, so I can talk to them. Anyway, uh, that's a plugin uh, that I found whilst browsing. Um, so yeah, I'll have another awesome tutorial out tomorrow. I'm looking for those quirky plugins that uh, you may have not seen before. Um, so yeah, I'll be on the lookout for those, and I will see you tomorrow.